In a world where the syllabus is ever-changing, past papers are limited, and especially for varsity students, sometimes there is simply no access to past papers whatsoever. Hey there! My name is Koketsu Mohoko and I'm a medical student at the University of Free State. And in today's video, I'd like to talk about this other study tool that I've been experimenting with recently that is actually helping me when it comes to creating past papers and quizzes, especially for courses where I cannot access past papers whatsoever. And the best part about it, it is absolutely free. And if you know me, you know that I'm broke. And I like free stuff. I mean, who doesn't like free stuff? So yeah, so I want to share this resource with you. I've been using it for quite some time. So let's get into this video. <laughs> for those of you that have been watching my videos for quite some time, or those that went back to watch my videos, you would know that I have been repeating and emphasizing spaced repetition. I have been emphasizing study techniques like active recalling. That is, active recalling is actively or writing down, recalling the content that you've studied. And spaced repetition is repeating the content and revising it in spaced intervals. That is, doing it today, doing it after two days, and again after four days, and again after six days. That is spaced repetition, repeating your content in spaced intervals. In today's video, I'd like to talk about what resource or tool I use to get past papers and quizzes and stuff like that. And that is using an extension, a Chrome extension called AI Blaze. AI Blaze is a free Chrome extension tool that helps students generate AI uh, questions, past papers, quizzes, and basically you can use it to even summarize, to edit emails and, 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 and. And the best part, as I said about it, is that it's free. I can use it anywhere. I can use it with my laptop and it is easily accessible. And I'll leave the link in the description box where you can access it as well. All you need to do is to download it and I'll show you how to do that. And then you can start using it as well. AI Blaze is very powerful in its ability as a productivity tool. It can do a lot of things, as I just mentioned, but one of its features which stands out to me, which I use in my daily life, is its practice test generation feature. And to basically talk about how exactly it has improved my study session and how best you can incorporate it into your study sessions as well. Now, one of the best things about the AI Blaze is the fact that it works on any site and it is completely free for students. So what I'm going to do is I'll share my screen and uh, show how exactly to use AI Blaze, basically a demonstration and how exactly you can use it as well. So the first thing to do is to click on the link that is in the first line of the description box because I've put it there for you to access it and in the comment section that is pinned as well. And it'll take you to your browser, which in my case is Chrome, since I'm using my laptop, because I find it easier to um, access it through Chrome. Now, before you go too far, you can already see that AI Blaze is loved by many and is very highly rated, as you can see, five-star reviews and stuff like that. I don't know why I haven't left my review yet, but I'll do so very quickly now. And uh... at this point, you click on your downloads, you find AI Blaze, and as soon as it logs in, you will want to sign up with Google, which in my case is to log in because I already have an account. And you can also chat with AI on the sidebar if you need help with anything. Or if there's perhaps a specific question that is related to your content that you need an answer to. So in my case, as part of my course in medicine, one of the modules I do is uh, called Molecules of the Body. And uh, I will ask it, what is a hematopoietic vitamin? So the answer is supposed to be vitamins 6, 9, and 12, because how I remember it was 3, 6, 9, 12, you know, uh, like 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 20, but yeah, and then 3 is out, so it's 6, 9, and 12. So let's see if it's going to give me an accurate answer. So what is a hematopoietic vitamin? Ah, so yeah, as you can see, it will give you the answer, which I can confirm is accurate and exactly what I have learned in my class. So, yeah, at this point, it is very accurate and I'm proud of it. I'm very proud of it. I'm a proud father. Nice. As I've already mentioned, AI Blaze works on any site. So, to show this example, I'm going to use uh, an article about type 2 diabetes because one of the courses that I do in my medicine course is called MSSM, which is a research course. So, I'll look at this study, use the prompt that is on the side that is the question and answer prompt, and I'll ask it to please generate 10 questions for me. And this can happen in any site, which in my case currently is on a particular article by the Mayo Clinic. And I'm being specific by the fact that I'm not only looking for a general 10 questions, but rather 10 questions on the symptoms of how a patient presents when they come with type 2 diabetes, which is what the article is about. 
and you can already see it generating the questions for me and since these questions seem to be short answer questions i can also ask it to make the multiple choice for me and it'll make the adjustment as quickly as that so here are my 10 questions made in multiple choice form according to the specifications that i asked for which are the symptoms and the way a patient presents and that is how easy it is to use ai blaze because it allows you to use page context to improve results that is if you want to maybe get your answers from page 12 to page 13 if i wanted to i could have just simply said please create um an, an mcq or a short answer question from page 6 to page 12 or something and it will create that for me so you can even niche down to which pages you want your answers to be from which in my case I was not selective so i just decided on the symptoms and how the patients presents which is basically in pages but because it's an article it does not present in pages it's just one lay sheet like that by now you can already see that uh, this tool is very helpful because you don't even have to keep going back to it and opening it it's an extension it's a chrome extension which means that all you have to do is to open your document and from your document you can access ai blaze just by clicking on that side on that purple icon that is on the left right okay when you're looking at the screen it's on the right because that's what I did. All I have to do is open an article. Then if I'm asking myself questions or something, I just have to click it there and then start asking it questions. I can ask it to summarize it for me. I can literally ask absolutely anything about it. But I usually don't ask for summaries because in medicine, they ask for like, they ask some things that are in context and in detail. So I only ask for questions like, once I've studied hematopoietic proteins, then I asked it, what are hematopoietic proteins or what do they do? What are their functions? And, 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 and. This tool has been highly influential when it comes to uh, how I started recently, especially as I said, when it comes to space repetition and active recording and always making sure that I quiz myself, ask myself questions. Because sometimes doing a past paper can be time consuming. So if I literally just did this page, I mean page number 23, and I want to see if I understand page number 23, I just simply ask it questions. And the best part about it is that I can ask myself, or not, I'm not asking myself, I mean, it can ask me questions based on content that I'm interested in. That is page 23 in this case. AI Blazer's test generation feature has absolutely transformed the way I study. And try it out today. As I said, it's on the link in the description box down below. And as if you haven't forgotten, it is absolutely, it's absolutely free. So you can also access it, hoping that you're just as broke as me and you like free stuff. So it's there and you are. And so that is it for today. Thank you for watching this video. This has been Kogetso. Thank you to AI Blaze for sponsoring this video. And if you're looking to see a day in the life of a medical student or you want more study tips, press the subscribe button right after you check out AI Blaze. Otherwise, this has been Kogetso. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Stay happy and healthy. Peace. AI Blaze. Yo.